ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. Now let's put that power to the test. It's, It's time for Tea Check! Hello everyone, I am Janel Labor. Ako po si Aimee Su Martinez and this is K-Check, the newest and smartest game show on Philippine television. Marami ang hindi nagsasawang dagdagan ang kanilang mga kaalaman. Here on K-Check, titignan natin kung gaano katindi ang brain power nila in various disciplines. And in the final week of the competition, malalaman natin kung sino ang kauna-unahang tatanghaling K-Check champion. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Dominic spent a significant chunk of his childhood in the Middle East but is now a sophomore in the BA film program of UP Diliman. He claims to not have a lot of hobbies dahil busy siya sa school and org-related responsibilities. Rio is a computer science major at UP Diliman who loves reading, writing fiction, and watching game shows. Brian is a journalism major who finds it therapeutic to walk around and take photos. Photographs. Wendell is a BS Information Technology student who loves to play the guitar and sing, especially in church. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Professor Marian Roque, Professor of Mathematics at the UP Diliman. Professor Neil Santillan, Chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History and Professor Malin Cruz, Assistant Professor from the Department of Theory, College of Fine Arts, UP Dilima. And now contestants, papasok na tayo sa K-Check Paramihan, where each correct answer is worth 10 points. This is your chance to bank as many points as you can and take the all-important early lead. Let's begin! Dominic. What mall sport is played in an alley or lane? Football. Wrong answer. Bowling. Rio. In what country did Ferdinand Marcos Jr. meet fellow president Joko Widodo? Indonesia. Kate. Brian. In military matters, what does AFP stand for? Armed Forces of the Philippines. Kate. Wendell. How many points is a converted free throw worth in basketball? Correct answer is one. Dominic, how many kidneys does a human usually have? Two. Kate, Rio, how many tentacles does an octopus have? Eight. Kate, Brian, in what ball game is there a catcher and a shortstop? Baseball. Kate, Wendell, in government institutions, what does SSS stand for? A social. Social Security System is the correct answer. Dominic, what does the O in the Oil Producers Group OPEC stand for? Oil. Mali. Organization. Rio, what organ of the body is directly affected by conjunctivitis? Uh, ligaments. Mali. The eye. Brian, in what ball game did Cristiano Ronaldo achieve great fame? Soccer. Kate. And finally, Wendell, in what island country did Ferdinand Marcos Jr. meet fellow President Halima Yacob? Correct answer is Singapore. And that's it for our first round, the K-Check Paramihan round. So, di ba? Ang ganda-ganda ng round na yun, no? Ang exciting. Na-excite ka, no? Oo, oh, syempre. Oo, oh, mukhang excited-excited tayo doon, no? <laughs> Oo. Oh, oh. Si Miss... May, no? Meron ata siyang exciting na tanong sa ating mga contestants. Para kanino? I don't know. Ganun na si Miss May. Para kanino ba? <laughs> uh, ang tanong ko ay para kay Dominic. Sabi mo kanina na um, yung background mo is about the Middle East. Galing ka doon. Can you tell us a little bit? Bakit ka napadpad doon sa uh, lugar na yun? At pa- paano ka bumalik dito sa Pilipinas? Um, so, actually, I was not born there. I was born here. However, both of my parents were OFWs there. And it pained them to have a you know, separate family for several years. So they decided to bring all of my siblings and myself 
there so that we can be a full full family together. And that's why I spent majority of my childhood there. And I came back here because my sister was about to enter in her college years. So sumama na din kami magkakapatid po. <laughs> Yun po. Okay. Pero yung mga parents mo na dito na ulit sa Pilipinas? Um no actually, my mother is left in Dubai. Uh, that's where she's working right now providing for all of us. Okay. Thank you, Dominic. No, may follow-up question ka, Prof. May? Oh, the, ano ang pagkakaiba sa palagay mo ng pagiging OFW child um, compared to just the um, regular um, Filipino growing up here in the, Filip here in the Philippines? Um, well, I think one of the major difference is distance po. Um, if OFW po ang parent po ninyo, mararamdaman nyo po talaga yung um, longing for the parental connection po. Um, you will be reminiscing about the memories you have together for a very long time without creating new memories together. Um, so I think that's one of the major differences. That's why I'm, kind, I'm really thankful for my parents for making the effort to be as complete as possible. Um, that is one of the one thing I'm really grateful for them. Nakaka-inspire naman. <laughs> Nakaka-inspire, nakaka-touch yeah. talaga yun. No? So, <laughs> oh. Lalo yung mga OFW family talaga natin. No? Parang ang daming kailangan na i-build. No? Oh. Ako may tanong ako sa isa pa nating contestant. No? Si Brian. Ba? Brian, ano mga preparations ang ginawa mo or kasama siguro yung parents mo para sa competition na ito? No? Right. Um, to be honest, I did not <laughs> intend to um, join this competition. I was initially here to chaperone um, Rio, but um, the spur of, of the moment, you know, yeah. uh, made me decide to join. And I guess what I'm realizing now is that um, I'm just, I'm here to make the most out of uh, my time here in UP. Mm -hmm. Okay, so kasama to dun sa making the most of yeah. your time. No? So, kumusta naman so far experience sa competition na ito? Um, Initially, I was so nervous, but um, after the first round, um, I feel like I, um, how do I phrase it, um, kind of adjusted and had a feel of the competition, and now I'm more more relaxed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Buti pala sinama ka ni Rio dito, <laughs> no? para ma-experience ko lahat lang ito. Yun pala, siya pang mananalo, no? Malay Let's na. Let's take a look at the results from round one. So, in the lead, we have Brian, followed by Rio, o si Rio ang pangalawa, at 20 points. And then we have Dominic at third place. And when the kailangan mong humabol, iho, kaya yan. At ngayon, ready na ba kayong lahat for our pabilisan round? Next here on K-Check! Let us now look at the results for round one. In the lead, we have Brian at 30 points. He's followed by Rio at 20 points. And then we have um, Dominic in third place with 10 points. And Wendell, Iho, kailangan mong humabol. Mm -hmm. Para ako, okay pa yan kasi round one pa lang naman. Diba? Mawawala rin ang mga kaba ng ating mga contestants. No? Ito, may kakabang-kabang question daw si Prof. Neil para sa isa nating mga contestant. Prof. Neil. Para sa dati kong estudyante. Wow. So, panong ko, baka kailangan na niya maging transparent kung anong grado niya sa klase. No, <laughs> kidding aside. Okay. Then, si Rio mahilig sa game show. So, baka yung tanong is, ano yung paborito mo mga game shows? Uh, yeah, like, I watched a lot of game shows then uh, from time to time. And one is like Jeopardy. And yeah, I, I really um, like the format and trivia in general. And as for the grade, uh, I beat the fifth. Give <laughs> transparent, dapat confidential. Yeah. <laughs> pero da, pero pumayag si Rio na gawing public. Uy, Rio, kidding aside nga binanggit ko. Okay, so Rio, mahili ka sa Jeopardy. Paano yung mga game shows dito sa Pilipinas? Um, uh, nakapanood na rin po ako dati. Like, um, I think I remember one, it was like Game Kanaba. 
<laughs> and yeah, I, I enjoyed that a little bit too. But yeah. I think uh, hiyang na hiyang serio para sa K-Check. So, um, hindi ko alam kung doon ba sa kamukha ko ako mag uh, <laughs> magsasabing good luck o sa dati kong estudyante. Rio, Actually, pero good luck sa yung yeah, yeah. good luck sa lahat pero sana uh, mas competitive tayo sa susunod na round. Okay. Ako, ma- mas kakabahan ako pag yung teacher ko yung mamaya magtatanong, di ba? So, kasi pakabawiin yung grade. Pwede mag change yung grade sa iyo. Bawal. Bawal ba? Okay. Anyway, ikaw may tanong ako ka ba sa iba? Ako naman curioso ako yung Wendell kasi parang mahiyain siya. Balita ko, kumakanta daw siya sa choir ng church niya. Kwentuhan mo naman kami, Wendell, about that. Ah, um, pumutugtog po ako sa church as uh, lead guitarist and oh. nagbabakap singer din po sa church namin. Po. Uh, all around, actually all around po, pero mas pinipili ko po mag-guitar kasi mas na uh, nakikiri yung stress ko for mm. Ito bang church nyo ay ano, every Sunday ka ba nag-play or every, meron bang mga services uh, na hindi sa Sunday? Saturday and Sunday po. Uh, bata ka pa ba? Trinain ka na ng church mo para gawin yan? Yes po. Mm. Since 14 years old, uh, 13 years old. Yeah, so we're just very talented. Uh, uh, parang low key lang, diba? uh, uh. So we're now going into K check Pabilisan. Buzz in first for the right to answer the question. Correct answers are worth 20 points. Pero sa round na ito, minus 10 points ang maling sagot. Okay, contestants, think before you press that buzzer. Let's begin. <laughs> For our first question, what is the title of the Korean drama series that featured a survival game that dangled... Yes, Dominic? Squid Game. Okay, check! Question number two. Which town in England is a major ferry port in the English Channel famous for its white cliffs? Tamang sagot ay Dover. Next question. Which powerful opioid drug similar to morphine but is 50 to 100 times more potent has resulted in the most drug overdose deaths in the United States in 2021? Yes, Brian? Weed. Yes, okay. Rio? Male. The correct answer is Tantanil. What sport did world number one players Jim Courier, Andy Murray, Daniel Medvedev, and Marat Safin play? The correct answer is tennis. Denali is the highest mountain in what continent? Sagot ay North America. What is the name of the protein in red blood cells that carries the oxygen? Hemoglobin. Yes, Rio. Hemoglobin. K okay, check. Tama. And then we have the next question. Which colorful toy was invented in 1974 by a Hungarian professor whose first name is Erno? The correct answer is Rubik's Cube. The Dinagyang Festival is a religious and cultural event held annually on the fourth Sunday of January in which city of 450,000 people. Yes, Brian? Iloilo City. A check! One Direction's 2014 song, Night Changes, can be remembered as the last single of which member with a boy band? Rio. Zayn Malik. That's correct. Okay, check. What is the name of the 320 kilometer mountain range in the north central part of Luzon? From Ilocos Norte. Yes, Brian? Cor- Cordilleras. Okay, check. 
which Hungarian words refers to a red powdery condiment derived from dried, ripe, sweet peppers? The correct answer is paprika. And the last question. At the U.S. Academy Awards in February 2017, Faye Dunaway announced that La La Land won Best Picture. However, this proved to be a big mistake. <laughs> yes, Dominic. Uh, Moonlight. Kate. <laughs> and that's it for a Pabilisan round. Let's have a points recap first. Now, Una, si Brian with 60 points. Si Dominic and si Rio ay tied with 50 points each. And si Wendell ay hahapol sa round na ito. No? Ang ganda nung ginawang round na yun. Oh, sobrang no? exciting. Oh, oh, so nagkita ka excitement sa mukha oh, mo. Oh, eh. Ang dami nilang nasagot eh. Oh, oh. Nakakatuwa na as teachers na parang nakikita niyo mo yung growth ng mga bata. Oh, no? Very exciting. Ma'am Marian, ano sa tingin nyo? Sa round two. Wow, well, ako must say, it was a fabulous round. Oh, diba? Kasi pa, nafe-feel ko yung pati excitement mo at tuwang-tuwa ka na nakakasagot sila. At tuwang-tuwa kami dito na nakakasagot kayo. At yung iba, hindi ko nga alam yung mga sagot. Na yung moonlight, hindi ko alam paano mo nasagot yun na hindi pa tapos yung tanong. So it's nice na nakahabol si Dominic. ba? And ano kayang feeling ni ni Rio na joiner lang ang kanyang BFF na Brian pero mukhang si Brian pa ang ngayon ang nakakalamang ng konti. Si Wendell mukhang kinakabahan pa rin but Wendell kaya pa yan. Tama. Thank you so much Prof. Marian. So this time our contestants will face their toughest challenge yet dahil ang ating ultimate pagalingan round susunod na here on King Check! natin ang mga scores ng ating mga contestants. In the lead is Brian with 60 points. He's followed by Dominic and Rio at 50 points. And then Wendell, you have to keep going! Mm. Ikaw, pag may mga sudyante ka na kailangan ng motivation, paano mo sila minomotivate sa class? Tinatry ko silang i-inspire, mm. patawanin, ganun. <laughs> Pwede rin namang sundutin ng konti. <laughs> <laughs> may epekto talaga yung pagpapatawa, no? Kasi na-inspire sila. Anyway, sa next round, ang ating K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan Round, pagkakaroon tayo ng correct answers worth 30 points, and wrong answers get a 15-point deduction. At para mas madagdagan ang kaalaman ng ating mga contestants at viewers, sa round na ito sa mga professors ng ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang mga tanong. At the end of this round, malalaman na natin kung sino ang tatanghaling K-Check Daily Winners. Contestants, let's begin! Let's begin! Question number one, please, Prof. Marian. Simply muna, how many hearts does an octopus have? Rio. Two. Male. Okay, yung octopus, sana dalawa ang puso ko, di ba ang kanta? Pero ang octopus, tatlo, mas maswerte siya. Correct, di ba? Tatlong beses pa rin. Umibig, Prof. Neil. So, susunod na tanong, which department of the executive branch of government has jurisdiction over the Bureau of Inter Inter Internal Revenue or BIR? Nasa ilalim din ng departamento o kagawarang ito ang Bureau of Customs, Bureau of Treasury, Securities Exchange and Exchange Commission at Insurance Commission. Kasulukuyang sekretary ng departamento ng ito ay dating profesor ng UP Diliman. Ang pangalan niya ay Secretary Benjamin Jokno. Ang tamang sagot ay DOF o Department of Finance. Okay, thank you, Prof. Neil. Prof. May. Um, what kind of body art was mistakenly described by the Spanish colonizers as pintados?
the answer is tattoo. Mukha siyang pininta pero actually siya ay itinatwo, no? So may they pierce the body and um pierced it with ink. Kaya iba siya sa nakapinta lang sa ibabaw ng uh, katawan. Yeah. Yung mga judgment pa talaga mga colonizers ano, from me. Okay, from Marian. Physics naman. Sana masagot niyo ha. Which physical process involves the splitting of a large nucleus into two or more s- real uh, fission. 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 Okay, ito yung process which often produces gamma photons and releases a very large amount of energy. So, fission is correct. Okay, check. Okay, ang galing ang ating mga contestants. Now, Prof. Neil, sana may makausap ka dito ngayon. Okay, sana may makakuha ng tamang sagot sa tanong na ito sa palakasan. In 1924, the first Filipino athletes participated in this city for our first Olympics. Sikat na syuda dito sa Europa. Then sa panahong yun, may kwento lang para konteksto, isang atleta lang pinadala natin noong 1924 Olympics. Okay? Then sa kasunod na Olympics na ginanap noong 1928 sa Amsterdam, nagkaroon tayo ng isang medalya sa swimming. So mula sa Olympics na yun, tuloy-tuloy ang ating paglahok sa Olimpiada maliban noong 1980. Kasi sumama tayo sa American Lead Boycott noong 1980 nung sumalakay ang mga Soviet sa Afghanistan noong 1979. Ang tamang sagot ay Paris. Alright. Okay, thank you. Prof. Meilin. What do you call the artistic genre wherein objects are set up in a given space for a temporary period? Um, still drawing? Still? Wrong answer. Brian? Installation. That's right. Installation art. Um, with installation art, you transform the perception of space. No? And, um, it's a very popular contemporary art. Yan ba yung nakikita ko sa mga mall na naglalagay sa setup ng mga artistic? Kasama na rin yun. Okay, check. Thank you so much, Prof. May. Okay, check. Prof. Marian. Sana may maka-K-check dito. What color would you get if you mix all colors from light? Black. Mali. Dominic. White. Okay, if you mix all colors from pigments like paint, you get black. But if you get it from combining light-emitting sources, you get white. Okay, check! Mamaya may gagawin ko yun sa bahay. Dapat light emitting source, hindi paint ah. Basta, huwag gawin ko sa bahay yan. Prof. Neil, next question. Okay, nakatama ako dun sa tanong ni Ma Marian. At malaking celebration yung mahirap yung mga tanong galing sa science at mathematics. Okay? So, ito yung tanong ko. What royal dynasty ruled significant parts of Europe such as Austria, Hungary, and Spain from the 15th to the 20th century? Dominic. Um, Victorian dynasty, Victorian era. Incorrect. Tanya green sila sa bansag na Holy Roman Emperors at matagal na kabasi sila sa ciudad ng Vienna. Ang tamang sagot ay Habsburg o Habsburg. No, Prof. May. This is a secondary burial jar with a lid depicting two figures in a boat. Brian. Manunggo jar. Okay, check. Correct. Um, yung lid na to, no? yung two figures na to ay nagpapakita ng paniniwala ng mga ninuno natin sa afterlife. So, nag-journey siya sa afterlife. Yan ba yung nakikita natin sa National Museum? sa National Museum at nakikita din natin siya sa likod ng ating pera. Thank you, Prof. May. No? So, next question, Prof. Marian. So, kung muna i-check yung pera ko. 
para wala pala wala pala kong pera. Okay. Physics again. Aha. What is the equivalent resistance of three 6 kilo ohm resistors when connected in parallel? So this will be simply the add the reciprocal of each resistor and then get the reciprocal of this sum. So it's going to be 1 over 6 plus 1 over 6 plus 1 over 6. Get the reciprocal, it will be 2. So parang 6 divided by 3. It's got 2 kilo ohms. Parang you learn some. Si Prof. Ma, ang dali-dali i-explain yung mga gano'n, no? Pero sa atin, nose-bleeding uh, experience. Diba? <laughs> Pasalamat ako nun, merong scientific calculator. So, susunod na tanong, Lingayen is the capital of this province up north. Brian? Pangasinan. Baka hindi na kailangan ng paliwanag rito. Baka kailangan lang banggitin ay birthplace ito ng dating Pangulong Fidel Valdez Ramos. At in fact, sa National Archives natin, makikita pa rin yung kanyang birth certificate. Okay. Amang sagot ay Pangasinan HL. Thank you. Prof. Maylin. What did Vicente Manansala call his style of painting featuring overlapping see-through planes? Ang tamang sagot ay transparent cubism. Nadiskubre niya ito nung naglalakad-lakad siya sa Paris, tumitingin sa mga window displays and nakita niya yung nasa loob ng window display at saka yung reflection parang nagpapatong pakit. So, transparent QVC. And that's it for K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan. Congratulations to Brian, our K-Check Daily winner with a final score of 135 points. We'll see Brian again on Friday when he competes with our other daily winners for a spot in our semifinals. Thanks to Dominic, Leo, and Wendell for joining to the members of our panel of experts, Professor Marian, Professor Neil, and Professor May. This is Aimee Sue Martinez. And I am Janelle Labor. Join us again tomorrow for another K-Check!